Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to automatically close Safari tabs on your macOS device. Following this process will allow you to decide how often you would like Safari to automatically close your tabs, ranging from one day, one week, one month, or just manually. So let's get straight into it. Alright, so this is a very simple process, so hopefully this video should be nice and short. Uh, but what you're going to do is go into Safari here. And then you're going to go up to the Safari section here, and then click on Settings. Once Settings is open here, what you can do is move over to the tab section. And then you'll see here that it has a section here for automatically close tabs. You can change this from manually to after one day after one week or after one month. So these are all options here. And this will mean that, for example, if we set it on after one day, that after each day, Safari will close all of the tabs that you have open. So they're not just gonna always stay open and use up system resources in the background for tabs that might be unnecessary at this point. So it just means that it cleans up your browsing experience and means that you don't have unnecessarily tabs clogging up your system. And you can change it between these three settings. By default, it's on manually, so it means it will never close your uh, open tabs automatically. You'll have to close them yourself. But this is a great way to be able to really clean up your system and have it take care of some of your tabs a little bit for itself. So yeah, that's all there is to changing how the Mac responds to automatically closing tabs on Safari. Hopefully this was helpful and you've had some great success in changing some of these settings. Also let me know in the comments below if you would like to see any other videos on um, Safari settings, maybe more stuff in the tab section or things like autofill, search and security and more. So just let me know in the comments below. And with that, thanks for watching this video on Unpack Technologies. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.